every one of my Unreal projects eventually gets filled with countless animations. And when I want to see what they look like, I have no choice but to open or drag them in one at a time. That's where this asset comes in. By running the editor utility widget and spawning a room, we can now see any of the animations we have selected from the content browser. This drop down here has several neat functions like allowing you to toggle between root motion and even attaching preview meshes on predefined sockets. Now this is all well and good, but you know what often happens. Your project gets filled with animations all set to different skeletons, so you can't really see how different animations look on the same mesh. This asset also solves that issue with this skeleton compatibility button right here. This will search your project for any other skeleton that has the same bones you specify here and make them compatible. You see how I have this UE4 and UE5 mannequin? If I play the UE4 animation and try to replace it with the UE5 mesh, it gets stuck, even though they share the same bone structure. After I click this button for the UE4 and UE5 animations, we can see that they are now compatible with each other. And if we change the mesh here, we can see that the animation will play on both meshes. But now there's another issue. As soon as I click another animation to preview here, the mesh is reset. And I don't know about you, but I really don't want to be updating this dropdown for every single animation. And that is where locking comes in. In this window here, we can see the same preview mesh that's shown on the right. If we set this bool to true and now click on an animation for a different mesh that's compatible, we can see it play with the locked mesh. Now you can easily cycle through all your animations and see how they look on a specified mesh. I quickly realized that this tool would be useful when I was browsing through the animations of my Paragon master project. One thing to note, even though these characters may share most foundational bones, the animations may not play as smoothly with one another or even at all. But when it looks like they should play correctly, I found a fix by opening up the skeleton's retargeting settings, changing them to anything and control Z to change it back. I'm not too sure why that fixes it, but it works. And what I meant by animations that look like they should play are basic animations not tied to specific bones. Like if a character is doing a simple thing like swinging their arm or looking around, the difference of extra bones shouldn't really matter since the foundational bones are what's doing the main actions. And that ladies and gents is the animation previewer.